Well, good morning. How are you today? You look nice. I like the way you're wearing your hair. Those shoes are cute. Oh my goodness. Where are you going? It must be nice. Have fun. Anyway, how are you today? Is everything all right? Oh, that is so nice to hear. You know, it's nice to know that there are still some people out here walking around with these contagious smiles going around, spreading them and spreading them and spreading them and everything. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's some people out here that are really hanging in and just pressing on and just being strong in the Lord. So thank you, Lord Jesus. But um, wait a minute. Mm -mm. What did you say? No, I'm talking about the one that said um, they're not doing okay. What happened this time? Oh, my goodness. Why can't they just leave you alone, man? They don't even know you. You don't even bother anybody. You know what? Let me stop right there. Let me just stop. For everybody that's doing all right, thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing them. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's just a wonderful, beautiful thing to know that you are for them and you are all by their side and everything. Oh, Lord, thank you for protecting them and all of that. But for the ones that everything is just not okay, Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will lead them to you so that they can feel free to take it to you, Lord and Savior, of our lives and wait on you patiently for you to work things out on their behalf. And then I'm looking forward to the day when they can walk around with those contagious smiles, too. Because it's going to come, y'all. Just be patient. Just don't worry about what they said. Don't, don't even think about it, you know. Don't even think about it, all right? Because you're a beautiful person, and that's just what it is. You feel me? It's just what it is. Welcome back to the channel here at D space for space U, where the name is apt to change because I really don't like it. I'm going to change it someday. I just don't know when. But for now, let's get back into this, shall we? Now, last night before my husband came home, I was talking about graphene, nanobots, nanoparticles and how they whoever they are is most likely tampering with our food and it probably won't be long before they are tampering with our water and anything that could just cause us to have to be filled with this even even if it's just a drop of graphene in our bodies you know what i'm saying let me stop there now my battery is low and I really want to put my phone down, but I'm charging it at the same time. So if the phone is wobbly and all of that, it's because it's in my hand and I'm doing too much all at the same time because I got to get this video out here because this is some serious information, y'all. This is serious business. So I looked up some definitions. One definition was for nanoparticles. A nanopart nano nanoparticles are smaller than the wavelengths of visible light and cannot be seen with an ordinary optical microscope. Now, the reason why I mentioned that is because I said, you know what? If they can put nanoparticles in the air when they put those long lines out in the sky that the planes let out, you know? And I said, there's a word for them too, but you have to do your own research now. I can't do it all. But if they can be letting stuff down into the air, nanoparticles that we can breathe into our systems, we can probably, you know, I don't know, maybe even swallow them in our food because they they gotta be landing somewhere there and, and you can't see them. So this was just proof that you can't see nanoparticles with your natural eye. So 
why would it be hard for somebody to put like um, these nanoparticles in the food that we eat or in the drinks that we that we intake as well? So that's something to think about. Now, I also was looking up nanobots. So I'm going to tell you what nanobots are. Nanobots are robots, little teeny tiny robots that, you know what? Sometimes they're so small that you still can't even see them with your natural eye. But they are robots that carry out a very specific function and are 50 to 100 nanometers wide and can be used very effectively for drug delivery. In my other video, I was mentioning how, you know, a guy did a video uh, demonstration of uh, slicing open a, a capsule. And one end of the capsule was the powdery substance. And the other end of the capsule was a graphene. It was graphene. It was a black liquidy substance that he used a... a um, he used a magnet to control while it was in the water. So you need to go watch that video so you can see what I'm talking about. And then, uh, so graphene is an allotrope, A-L-L-O-T-R-O-P-E. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not, but it's an allotrope of carbon consisting of a single layer of atoms arranged in a two-dimensional honeycomb lattice nanostructure okay and um, i also want to read something else about nanobots nanobots i'm going back to nanobots nanobots is a hypothetical very small self-propelled machine okay especially one that has some degree of autonomy and can reproduce. So if you saw the video, do you remember when I said the guy turned on the cell phone and all of a sudden the graphene just, it was, it looked like it just came to life and it just started, you know, it started moving. Like it was affected by the phone, you know, and then when he turned the phone call off because he, because he made a phone call, then when he when he hung up the phone, then the graphene it went back to its normal state where it was like just in like on freeze mode or what have you. So I want to stop right there. Let me take these glasses off. And I'm, I'm, let me see something. I'm getting ready to have to just go ahead and put this cell. Hopefully that this cell phone will have enough time for me to finish saying what I need to say real quick, real quick. So if a nanobot is very small, it is self-propelled. It's a self-propelled machine that can reproduce. And if nanoparticles are very small, so small that they cannot be seen even with an ordinary microscope. I want you to think about some things. Graphene is a, a substance. It's some kind of it has something to do with metal. I need to get I need to do more research on that, but feel free to do more research on your own too about graphene. Anywho, my thing about the graphene that's causing me a concern is that people say that they have some of that in the things that they are going around putting into people. Okay? Now, I ain't trying to be funny or nothing. I'm just saying, you know, I see a lot of people doing mean things more and more these days. 
and I see a lot of crazy stuff going on, a lot of people shooting, a lot of people doing more killing each other, a lot of people driving crazy on the freeway, a lot of people are just more impatient, everybody's like getting, like going into like this rage and stuff. You know what? I can't help but to wonder if a lot of those people are ones that might have went and got the thing maybe more times than others i'm not really sure i'm just saying these are the things that make me go hmm this is very interesting so i'm wondering that if it's possible could they just turn on a switch for people that have taken the thing that could possibly have the graphene inside it and turn on the 5G and the 5G towers connect with the graphene within the bodies of the people that have taken it or the bodies of the people that have eaten it or the bodies of the people that have drank it at unawares. You know what I'm saying? And then those towers can control people. They can control people. Where they're not actually controlling the people. They are controlling the graphene within the people. And the people are behaving in different ways. Do you know that I even saw a video where graphene, it, it, even, it even is uh, affected by music. It can dance to music. I mean, it might not be breaking it all down, you know, up rocking and all that. <laughs> I was just being funny. But yeah, it's affected by music. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, they say that's that little, the little thing that looks like the little juice that comes out of a speaker, like the little, the little black, like, like a little drop of something that comes out of speakers. That's graphene, if I'm not mistaken, but don't quote me on that. Nevertheless, it's controlled by something magnetic. So, watch the medicines that you're taking. Be cautious of the foods that you're eating. You know? And I just want to say, I can't tell anybody to get that, get the things. I can't say get it. I can't say not get it. But I'm just saying, you know, take it that to the Lord in prayer. If you haven't already gotten one or some or too many or, you know what I'm saying, about to be drowning in them, you know, take it to the Lord in prayer and ask him if that is what he wants for you because... I don't know. I, I just, I, I really don't think that it's a good idea. But the reason why I was saying in the video yesterday that it just seems like we don't stand a chance because it's everywhere. You know, they call the graphene. Graphene is basically what people are calling black goo now. You know, it's everywhere. They have found a way to put it everywhere. And it looks like people that don't want the thing are being affected or 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 probably uh you know what i'm saying they're they're being affected anyway because like i said about they they caught the red cross people giving um transfusions to uh vaccinated um you know with the you know what i'm saying not the vaccinated i didn't mean to say a vaccinated but uh okay there it is boom Anyway, they were giving that blood to people that didn't want the thing. They were giving the blood of the people with the thing. The, they were giving the blood from the people with the thing to the people that did not want the thing. You know what I'm saying? They're messing with our food. They're putting this stuff in our medicine. It's like they're trying to figure out some way where they can try to control us. Whoever they are, they want to have some kind of control with us, of us. Like they want us to be weak for some reason. They want us to be able to adhere to whatever it is they want us to adhere to. 
So I'm just saying, you know, be careful. But we do stand a chance. And this is how you can stand a chance if Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Ask him to grant you wisdom and to show you how to make it through these days because it's only going to get worse. You know, here's here's an example. If if you, you if you're taking capsules and and now you got the information that they're putting this black goo or graphene in these capsules, don't take the capsules. If you're feeling some type of way about the water, don't drink the water. Maybe boil it. Do what you got to do to try to clean that stuff out of there. You know, um, if you think they're messing with your food, then um, I don't know. Learn how to grow your own food. You know what I'm saying? It, it kind of it almost feels inevitable, like some way we're, we're not going to be able to manage to get around this 100 percent. It's just like impossible. We are outnumbered and they are putting this stuff out here left and right. Oh, my goodness. So I guess basically just give your heart to Jesus Christ and wait patient for patiently for him to work things out on your behalf and to lead you and guide you because he's the only way that we can make it through this thing. He is the only way, you know, he is the only way. Um, so, uh, you know, just be mindful, just be mindful. Don't give up, but just be mindful, you know, be leery about that stuff. Like I said before in other videos, read the labels, you know, read what's in the ingredients, you know, and if you're eating something and you're feeling weird, because I'm telling you, I'm feeling like I don't even really like eating bread. And I used to love eating bread. I don't even really eat bread like I used to eat bread anymore because I don't like the way my nose feels after I eat that certain bread. And as a matter of fact, it's not even just that one particular brand. There were some other breads that I've eaten before and I had that same and it had that same effect on me, you know, so. Just, um, you know, use wisdom because, like I said, man, this stuff going on, there's so much going on that it seems like it's inevitable. It looks like we can't beat it. It feels like we're already defeated by all this just, all this evil. But let me tell you something. What is impossible to us is not impossible to God. Everything is possible. All things are possible with God, but you have to be with God. You have to surrender your heart unto him. Do it now before it's too late. And all them people out there saying little stuff and trying to make you cry and make you mad and make you sad, don't even listen to them because that's what they want from you because they don't want you to know just how beautiful and just how gifted and just how intelligent you really are see if they can blind you they can keep you looking looking out here you know wandering around out here looking and feeling like you're less than but you're not less than okay they want you to feel less than but you are not less than all right you're greater than do you feel me? All right. Till next time. Take care. I love you. Shalom.